Well, today is day three of our 21 days of prayer. Probably the most famous story in David's life after the slaying of Goliath is the story of David committing adultery with Bathsheba. One night, King David leans on the rails of his balcony and he sees a beautiful woman taking a bath on her roof. All of his soldiers, including this woman's husband, are off to war and David has too much time on his hands. He sends for her and he sleeps with her. She goes home and she finds out that she is pregnant with David's child. Well, like many of us, David begins to take matters into his own hands. He thinks he can fix the whole thing. He eventually has her husband killed and takes this pregnant widow into his palace. And he thinks that no one would ever know what he did. Nearly a year passes, but God knew. After living in denial for nearly a year, he finally sees himself for who he really is. A liar, a deceiver, an adulterer, a thief, a murderer. He is broken and he sees himself as someone who is in need of forgiveness. That is the context of the prayer that he prays. It is probably his most famous prayer in Psalm 51. He says, have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions, wash away all of my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Do you know what I'm wondering right now? How many of us might be going through one of those seasons, pretending like everything is okay, like David did for so long, but there is a sin that you've been hiding or struggling with. And maybe you need to pray a bold, forgive me prayer today. You've probably never sinned at the level of David, but because he was sincere before God, God completely forgave him. And today, by the grace available through Jesus Christ, He can do the same thing for you. If you're willing to be honest with God and willing to be authentic before God. Today, I want to encourage you to read the entire chapter of Psalm 51. And be honest with God about whatever needs to be cleaned in your life. And today, I want you just to pray that forgive me prayer. Would you pray for God's work in the crossing today as well? I love you. I'm praying for you. And we'll see you here tomorrow.